Hey guys, back again. Just want to show you a couple hats today. So I've got this Filson one right here. It is a 100% wool. And then you got a genuine sheepskin here. And then the inside has a polyester lining. Now I do not like the polyester lining, but it's just sewed in along this seam right here, which I'm going to remove it and get a all wool one put on the inside there. In my opinion, Filson should have stuck with an all wool uh, insulation or liner. It's making a nice soft wool. I don't like crappy synthetics. This is a large and it seems to fit me really nice. Then if it gets real cold, just untie these little strings at the top. Flop that down. Could tie it closed if you want. Lately I've just been leaving it like that. Really nice and warm. Awesome hat. Just hate that liner. We'll get that fixed up though. We'll void, void my warranty, but totally worth it. I love wool. That's the charcoal gray one. That was $100 US. And it's uh, made in USA of imported materials. I've got this Filson one too. This is also a large. And it's the charcoal as well. It's actually a decently thick wool as well around the brim and stuff for sure now the inside has a 100% cotton lining the rest of it is just 100% wool and that one is made in the USA of imported materials as well build some tag there few little breather holes on the side. Let's see better there maybe. Either side has that. That way it doesn't build up with the moisture inside. Now, the hat I always wear. It's not a Filson, but I absolutely love this bowler hat. You can call it a bowler hat, derby hat, whatever you want. Love it. Now this one's a medium, and it's from Connor Hats. It's a 100% wool with a 100% cotton, organic cotton, um, little pocket here, and this band right here. Really nice hat. Not quite as thick as uh, the Filson one here, but it's really nice. That's a medium and it fits like the Filson large. Thanks again for watching my video.